It's Friday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. College visits from February are winding down, but mark your calendars for these upcoming college visits. The reps from Lamar Community College will be here today, and for those of you interested in modeling and acting, the Barbizon School representatives will be here at lunch on Monday, February 26th. CU Denver will close out February visits on the 28th. March visits kick off with the Paul Mitchell School on Friday, March 2nd, followed by the reps from the Rocky Mountain College of Art and Design. The month of April brings a more formal presentation by the U.S. Air Force Academy missions team. The USAFA team will be here on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium to tell you all about the Air Force Academy, life as a cadet, and how to navigate the application and admissions process. Recent graduates will be available afterward to answer any questions you may have. This event is open to all students and parents. Remember, it's never too early to start shopping around for your next academic step. Be sure to have a pass from the Counseling Center. The 2018 African American Youth Leadership Conference will be held on March 10th from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Colorado College. College. The conference is free and is open to all students in grades 6 through 12. Seniors, this is a great scholarship opportunity. Applications are available in the Counseling Center and the Attendance Office. You can also register on the link on the Counseling webpage. Remember, the conference is free for students. Seniors, the Fountain Valley Scholar Scholarship application is, is due today to Miss Abeda in the Counseling Center. Don't delay. Get it submitted today. And lastly, for seniors, Curie Carmody is holding places for your photos in the yearbook and on the senior side trail. Share them with her her by emailing them or bringing her a flash drive. Remember, your photos must be of seniors only. And now, here's Miss Betsy with today's lunch menu. Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're having chicken fingers with mashed potatoes and gravy. And on Monday, are hot wings, so come on down and see us. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. District talent show auditions will be held on March 1st in the band room from 3 to 5 p.m. They're looking for individual and group performers, bands, dance troops, and drama or comedy routines. Contact Mrs. Miller in room 750 for more information. The construction trades industry is quickly becoming one of the fastest growing industries in Colorado Springs, and they will be needing hundreds of skilled individuals to work right here in the Springs. The Home Builder Association reps will love to tell you more about the job options and career opportunities in the lower comments at lunch on Wednesday, February 28th. Find out how you can be part of this rapidly growing career field. We'll be back in a bit with some club news and fundraiser information. But first, here's Jerry Grace with our Gladiator Sports Update. Happy Friday, Glads. I'm Jared Grace with your Gladiator Sports Update. Spring sports practices start on Monday and yellow cards are still available in the main office. Remember, you also need a current physical on file. Don't wait until Monday to get your yellow card or turn in your physical. You'll be late to practice. In forensics news, the four team members headed to state are deep in practice mode. Junior Dylan Shea and seniors Josh Har. Jada Horn and Lauren Wadsworth will take their talents to the state competition on March 16th. Best of luck to them all. Congratulations to our NJROTC Corps of Cadets. They competed in the Loveland, Colorado Drill Meet on February 17th and returned with some big hardware. The unit earned a first place in unarmed exhibition, third place in unit inspection, second place in armed exhibition, third place in unarmed regulation, third place in color guard, and second place overall in the drill competition. Congratulations also to the Corps of Cadets for their performances and ratings at the AMIS. One last thing for NJROTC cadets. Remember, those outside guest forms for the military ball are due next Friday, March 1st. If you haven't picked up yours yet, you should do so in the main office. Your outside guests cannot attend without permission, so get yours now. The date for the WHS baseball team flapjack fundraiser has been changed to Sunday, March 11th. $10 will get you some tasty flapjacks served by your favorite WHS ball player. Buy your tickets today from any baseball player or stop by the main office. Then head on over to the Applebee's on Highway 8587 from 8 to 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. Enjoy a hearty breakfast. Glass, if you haven't pre-ordered your Gladiator socks, they extended the date to today. See Doc in the training room, send her an email, or put a note in her box in the business office. The Ultimate Frisbee team started practices yesterday, but if you didn't get the memo, check in with Mr. Nell in room 1. 16 or Mr. Wallace in room 4 for information and practice schedules. And finally, tonight's the night. Basketball regional playoffs started this week and our Lady Glads are hosting number 18 Fort Morgan in Bowersham at 7pm. Come pack the house tonight and help our ladies into the next round of playoff games. 
Our men's team takes the court on Saturday night in Bowers Gym at 7 p.m. The glass will host number 42 Skyview. Our glass are on a winning streak, so come out and make sure they keep it going until the next round of playoffs. These sixties are Chassa playoff games. The cost is a bit higher than regular season. Cost for students is six dollars and adults is eight dollars. No passes will be allowed except for Chassa passes. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes tonight and this weekend. I'm Jared Grace. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Jared. Students, if you feel the weight of the world is on your shoulders and want or need someone to talk to, you can text the word TALK to this number to reach the mental health professional to share what's on your mind. WHS is a pilot school for the Below the Surface program. It's a free confidential counseling service, especially for teens. Check out the posters on the campus for more information and send that text. Please seek help if you need it or if you just need someone to listen to your concerns. The Penrose Blood Bank will be here for a blood drive on Thursday, March 15th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you would like to donate blood, please sign up in the business office. To donate, you must be at least 16 years old with parent permission. All donors will need to bring a driver's license. Starting this year, if you have a tattoo you got in the Colorado or 38 other states, you will be able to donate blood. Sign-up sheets are available today in the business office, so sign up early because there are a limited number of donation spots and they fill up fast. Please come see if your stuff is in the lost and found bins in the business office. Reclaim your property or lose it forever. All remaining items will be donated soon. Teachers, our golden ticket assembly is next week on Tuesday, February 27th. Be sure to give away your golden ticket today. Students, if you receive a golden ticket, stop by the main office to put your ticket in one of the prize boxes today. Here's Mr. Shub to show you some of the gifts you could win. Hey guys, it's Mr. Shub here. Just wanted to talk to you about golden tickets and what they mean and what you can win if you get a golden ticket. Golden tickets are for those kids who do the right thing all the time from the beginning of the year all the way until now. What that means is you just have to be doing the right thing all the time and have your teachers recognize that. Alright guys, when you get your golden ticket, you're going to come down to the main office with your golden ticket and you're going to talk with Miss Price. She's going to have you come talk to me and then you will get to put your golden ticket into one of these boxes. We'll have more boxes available for more prizes. However, please come to the main office with your golden ticket and deposit it into the box that you hope to win. Some of the items that you guys will have an opportunity to win for a golden ticket at our NHS assembly on February 20 seventh is what you'll see behind me. We've got a big screen TV that's a, a 4K 50 inch TV. We've got Beats wireless headphones. We've got a one terabyte PS4. We've got painting with a twist. We've got four box seats. We've got prom tickets. A couple of sets of those. We've got a yearbook and in addition to that we've got many many more things. I just want to encourage you to continue to demonstrate power throughout the remainder of the school year. Hopefully earn one of those wonderful golden tickets and have an opportunity to win one of these great prizes and be recognized in front of the entire student body. Don't wait. Put your ticket in the box. Ladies attending the military ball, schedule your appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet now with Miss HK in the library or Miss Molina in room 111. Remember, the dresses are yours to keep. The Media Center's monthly contest celebrating everyday heroes continues. Check out a book this month to enter to win prizes. Don't delay. Prizes have already been awarded to many students. The library also wants to remind everyone to return any overdue materials you may have hiding in your locker, car, backpack, or under the bed. You should also pay any late fines so you don't get put on conditions in IC. That's all for our news today. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend. Who won the world?